Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying how to consume Babe API in ASP.NET MVC application. So in this video, we are going to see how to consume put request in our MVC application. So first of all, we'll see what will be the layout. So this is going to be a layout or UI of our MVC application. So whenever we click on the edit link, whatever link we have chosen, the same product will get pre-populated here means all the data related to the product will get pre-populated here and whenever we hit a save whatever changes we have made in the product it get passed or posted to our web api and web api will subsequently modify it and store it in the db okay so i hope this is clear so let us switch to visual studio and let us start implementing this so i am in our mvc application now for edit we are going to create one more action method so definitely i am going to call it as edit and that action method is going to render a view that's why i am going to keep a return type as view result and my method name is edit but this time my edit method will accept a parameter and that parameter is nothing but a id id of the product okay so here i am going to use specifically the id word if you want to change it you have to make those changes in the root config file also so here in our app start folder we have a root config file which is related to mbc where we specify all the details related to routing and here as you can see we have a default root where id or id placeholder for id is defined and the name of placeholder is id itself that's why i specified the name as id if you change it there or if you want any different name just make sure you have make those changes in both the places otherwise means how to handle all this thing i have already covered in my mvc tutorial so please watch that video related to the routing so since we have specified placeholder as id here i am going to use the same name as a parameter in my action method so the purpose of this action method is to get the details of the product by this id and populate in our view so here we are going to call the get request of our web api which is returning a single product so i hope you remember we have to implementation of a get request let me show you i am in web api now i am opening the product controller of our web api and see we have a two implementation of the get method right or get request one is returning all the products and another one which is returning a single product by id right so we are first of all finding the id then we are after getting that id we are transferring those details to our product view model object and then after we are returning that product okay so first of all we are going to pre populate the details of a product by id and for that we have to give call to this get request which is accepting a parameter so let us switch to our mvc application yes so here the code for consuming the get request is already there we already implemented that part in our index method so i am going to use the same code just instead of uh, getting a list of product now we are going to get a single product so i'll just make that change so i'm going to copy this part basically we are going to reduce our time so i'm just going to use the same thing there will be some minor changes as i said will get a single product now so i'll make this change so products instead of products i'll say product and here also instead of list of product i'll say oh, only product view model and we change the name also of our object so that's why i say product okay done now to our get a sync method now we have to pass the id as well otherwise uh, what happened it will return list of product so we got the id in our id argument so we have to pass it here while calling the 
get a sync method so i'm just concatenating the string product slash whatever will be the value of id okay so we are done with this part now i have to return this product object to my view right so here i'll say return view and my object which is nothing but a product so this step is complete but again one more thing is remaining here what we are going to do we are going to populate our category drop down list as well so in our edit view also we are going to display the categories in drop down so we need to populate a list of categories in a drop down right so for that what we have to do again we have to give call to our controller but this time it will be a category controller we are going to give call to our get method of category controller and it will return a list of categories so again that code is available here while implementing the post request code we already implemented this code so now what i am going to do i am just going to copy paste this code so this will give call to the get request of category controller okay so we we have these variables multiple times so we may get an error here so let me remove the declaration we are keeping the object only okay so this code is get list of categories okay this code is all about that and here we are getting those categories and we are storing it in the view bag and the next code is related to get the product by id so do not get confused initially we want to pre-populate the product details and as well as we want to populate our drop down also so that's why we have given call to the category controllers get request method which will gives me a list of categories we are assigning that to our view bag and then after we have given call to the get request of our product controller which will return a single product by its id so we have passed this id in this way and whatever values we have get from our web api we are passing it to our view now what is the next step i hope all of you have guessed it yes so our next step is to create a view so right click on your action method and say add view so here also i'm going to take a help of template so i'm going to use this edit template my model class is going to be product view model and say add yes done so here also what we are going to do we are we are not going to accept the category name so i'll remove this part and we are going to accept a category through drop down list so instead of editor for i am going to use drop down list for html helper so we already have that in create view we we have already implemented it so again i am going to copy paste this i'm just going to copy this drop down in our edit view okay so we are done with this so till now we have used or we have consumed get request only we didn't consume put request yet that will be a next part but before starting that first of all we'll check the layout of our edit view so here what i'm going to do i'm going to display a index view first and from index view we will navigate to our edit view okay so let us run our application my web api is already in the running state so i'm just running my mvc application so this is our index view where we list all our product and now what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on the edit link of one of our product okay uh, here if you observe in the left bottom corner 
that our edit link is associated with the product ID means now I am on the second link and it is showing edit slash 2 for the next link it is showing edit slash 3 so that values are nothing but a ID of our product and here you can see the IDs also for the last product if you see in the left bottom corner you can see that edit slash 15 so that numbers are nothing but a ID so I am going to click on this the last ID yes so value get populated right the values of individual product get populated even our drop down list also get populated and respective id is also assigned to it now whenever i'll make a changes on it and i hit a save button whatever changes i did it will be posted to our mvc application our mvc application will give call to the put request of our web api and web api will modify those detail and update that do, update that detail in our database okay so let us see that part so i am switching to our mvc application so now we are going to implement a post method for our edit so public action result edit now this time we will get product view model as an argument so that's why i'm specifying this and this is going to be a post version of my mvc application edit action so this is going to be a post method of our controller so i'll mention it using this attribute so http post so here also first of all we'll check whether my model state is valid or not so if my model state is valid we are going to call a web api otherwise we are going to show the same view again with the errors okay so here i'll say return view done now you are already familiar with consuming the put request of our web api okay so we have already studied it so again i'm going to paste the code here okay and i'll quickly explain you that code so this is the code to consume the put request so first of all we'll check our model state is valid or not then after we created the object of http client class we specified the ba base address then we have give call to put a json async method to our put a json async method we have to pass a two argument one is id and another is modified product or modified model you can say so if you check the implementation of a put request in our web api see this is the put request of our web api right which is accepting the id and modified product so it is accepting the two argument okay so we are finding that product first by id if it is present then we are assigning those details to our data model and then we are saving those changes so that's why here also in our mvc application we pass two argument one is along with a controller this is one argument which is passed where we passed product id along with a controller and second argument is our model or you can say a object and we have given call to put a json async method so if our request get executed successfully we are calling the index method of our mvc so index method will subsequently call the get method of our web api which will return the list of all the products and that all the products will be rendered on the view okay that's it so let us try and let us test this so i am running my mvc application so first of all we are going to call the index method so here it will list the details of all the product then after you have to click on the edit link so i am choosing this third product edit so the current quantity is 1000 i want to modify it to 500 if you want to change other things you can but do not change the 
primary key field because if you change it this product will not found and definitely it will not take any effect so we change the stock value now we will hit on the save button and we will observe whether that value get changed or not so let me hit on this yes so we have chosen this third product initially the stock was thousand now it is 500 so our edit method is also implemented successfully so we successfully consumed the put request of our vbpi so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any questions you can write it to the comment section thank you for watching